Hi guys, welcome to Football Mad Cops, and today we are doing Premier League review week no. nine. So let's just go for it. So we start off the week. Was it? It was Everton versus West Ham. It, it was Saturday one. It was a BT, Everton, it was Everton a BT versus game, West Ham well. uh, at was it at Goodison Park? It was, yeah. Um, and Everton beat West Ham. Uh, what was the score? Was it two? It was two 0 at the end. Obviously, Everton obviously played very not, well. Not a good match for West Ham this mm. week. Uh, yeah, I think um, they've been. Um, Everton played very well. Yeah, I thought, and the they were just a bit sloppy at times going forward, like pretty wasteless at times. West Ham were pretty bad. They didn't really no. cause John Pitford any problems. Maybe once, once or twice, maybe, maybe probably once. And now Everton are now out of the relegation zone, so that is re- that is good for Everton right now. And uh, um, Marcus, obviously, if they lost that game. Or maybe drawn well. Maybe especially, less if they lost that game. Marco Silva probably will be out. He would have been sacked later on in the day or the next day. Or maybe he might not have been quite sacked yet. But, but now they had the one. Finally, the one. When was the last time Everton won? Um, it must have been quite a while ago. Yeah, like. But obviously, it was. Um, what? Uh, um, Bernard scored the first opening goal in the seventeenth minute. Obviously. Did very well, but bad goalkeeping in the end, I think. Um, but yeah, it, it was a good, good finish though. And then obviously uh, Everton just had chance after chances. Really, should have scored probably about four. Really, um, mm. keeper made a few good saves, but a lot of wasteless. Theo Walcott had a cracking show. I hit the bar, and then obviously at the end Sigerson came on and scored uh, an absolute. Well, a great, well, a mink goal. Yeah. Top left, keeper had no chance. And the points were at Everton's and you could sit, you could feel the relief around Goodison Park. That They've actually got three points and they've been massive three points for Everton. OK, yeah. yeah. But yeah, Moving Everton wins. Aston Villa versus Brighton. Obviously, this game was Surprising. one of these sides. Well, at the start of the season, I said one of these sides would go down. I said Brighton would. And Brighton actually lost the game. Obviously, yeah. Aston Villa... Um, they went 1-0 down, I think, if I remember rightly. The, the scored right at the end, didn't they? Yes, we'll get to that. Yeah, uh, We'll get to that soon. Uh, obviously, Aston Villa, not being the fan of VR, VR sorry, this season, obviously, they had a lot of things rolled out, silly offside, what, fouls and dives, what sh- should have stood. But VAR, obviously, cancelled the goal on the 43rd minute, Houlihan scored. And... Uh, yeah. Adam Webster for Brighton got the first goal. Jack Grealish equalised at um, just after half time, the forty seventh minute, big goal for Villa, and then they got a the, an injury time winner, ninety fourth minute, right at the end. Aston Matt, Villa got a bit lucky Matt there, Matt um, but no big three points for Aston Villa. They um, did get a bit lucky, I won't lie, but yeah, yeah, Aston Villa beating Brighton, yeah, so yeah. one moving on. Uh, to another three o'clock game, Chelsea, Chelsea versus, versus Newcastle. Newcastle. Obviously, a boring game, would you say? But yeah, uh, well, it was obviously you were expecting New- um, Chelsea to win. Obviously, and they did. They did, but uh, Newcastle made it hard for them. Let's say that obviously uh, Newcastle didn't really have the, any chances. Really, obviously, the Bradford pulled off a few decent saves, and obviously, um, Max Lonzo, obviously in the seventy-third minute, towards well, coming towards the end. About halfway through the second half, got the goal, and if I'm honest, I think De Bruyne would be uh, disappointed he didn't save it. Yeah. But cause it, was, it was it was hit hard. He just couldn't get a, a, like a strong strong enough hand to keep it out, and all he could do is palm it into his well, his own net really. Yeah. But that won the game, Chelsea, and obviously Chelsea. Uh, everyone, they, this under Frank Lampard, they're doing quite well. They're doing even though the. I can't remember what position they're probably in the top four on that area. Even though like they're not doing as usually as good, it's the worst start in the Premier League for Chelsea for a long time. It's not a bad one because they had they had a transfer ban in the summer, but that's going to do them a load of good because they're going to have so much to spend in the next few years, and they're bringing up some great young players, young talent like Mason Mount, Abraham, all them. This is doing them good. Yeah. Obviously, Hudson Odoi is going to have a good chances to get back into his football. Uh, impress obviously 
So they're looking good at the moment, Chelsea. I, I've got to say, obviously, just before the international break, they beat Southampton very comfortably. And if I'm honest, I think they'd be comfortably beat Newcastle, even though it was one 0 We're a clean sweep. Never think one 0 is comfortable, but I think I think they were quite comfortable, Chelsea. I think Chelsea, um, Newcastle, may, maybe had a few opportunities, but but yeah, if I'm honest, Chelsea, I, I'm pretty impressed at the moment with them. They're playing pretty well, and you said they'll come eighth. I don't think they'll. You you have to give some fr- Frank. Frank Lampard some credit, he's done quite well at Chelsea so far. So Yeah, and Chelsea beating Newcastle one 0 Obviously then Wolves won, Southampton won. I'm disappointed in Wolves in this game really. Well you well we, at I, least I, they I, didn't lose though, because I was happy I, in Wolves, but then it got disallowed. What I, I was really annoyed with. And it, uh, I, well, I predicted two 0 Wolves, but you predict three one or something. Yeah, Wolves, yeah. And obviously Finished one one. It surprised me. I expected Wolves to win that hole, especially in the form no. of the rain. Obviously beating Watford, beating Man City, and then beating Man City. You you expect them to go and win this, and you know what? Um, Wolves were unlucky. That they probably yeah. should have won. If I'm honest, they should have won two. Obviously, they got two goals disallowed. Jimenez got denied a hat trick. Um, obviously, it does it's looked quite a good game. If I'm honest, obviously. Um, in the forty third minute, Raul Jimenez um goal was disallowed, I think. Hang on. Yeah, it was yeah. Yeah, dis well, yeah, he had a disallowed goal for it was either offside or the handball, I can't remember. I think it might have been handball, but he rounded the key put it in, I think it was a handball. I I might be wrong. But the second one it was disallowed was because he was offside. Well, he Wait, was two. No, what was disallowed? No, he wasn't offside. Another player who was involved in the goal was offside. There was and two. Jimenez followed it up and put it in. And everyone thought Wolves had took the league for the second time. But no, the VR, VER well, so, ruled so, it out. Southampton remains took the 0 0. And if I'm honest, Wolves last season would have been 2 0 up at about half time. So, um, but obviously. And Southampton scored first. Yeah, obviously, in the. 53rd minute, Danny Ings, who's been pretty in good form at the moment for Chelsea, obviously scored before the international break against Chelsea in the defeat to Chelsea. Obviously, Danny Ings um, in the 53rd minute put up, put him in front, and everyone's thinking, every, everybody at Wolves thinking, oh, it's just not going to be our day today. And it, it nearly proved right, but, um, but yeah, Danny Ings scoring again, he's playing well at the moment, and obviously then. Wolves got a penalty. Raul Jimenez, calm as you like. He definitely they weren't going to take that one away from him. Obviously, it, the way he stepped up, he like he jumped up in in the air and like left foot onto the ground and they kicked it. Keeper was nowhere near it. Bottom left, it was it looked a very nice penalty and it was, and that got Wolves a point. And in the end, Wolves might feel like they were a bit unlucky in the end, but Raul Jimenez was obviously very disappointed about he didn't get his hat trick and plus Wolves didn't get the win and. We asked football for you, and this this year it's it's, it's going to be hard for teams to get over like goals uh, what have been disallowed because especially against in big big games. Um, obviously, Wolves that was a big game for them. They're, they're trying to get confidence and start winning again, but they're starting to hit form again. I think Wolves at the moment. They're, if I'm honest, it should have really finished three one, but yeah. Um, Anyway, finish one one and yeah, Wolves, Wolves for Southampton one one. Decent point for Southampton. Maybe Wolves fans might be a bit disappointed with that draw. But it's better than losing. So this is probably Norwich. been the boring match of the week. Bournemouth, Bournemouth versus Norwich. Norwich. Not yeah, much to yeah. talk about with this game. Obviously, Bournemouth. You expect to win that game actually. But no, Norwich. Nil, nil. Norwich got a good point. It's a good, good point for that. It's a hard place to go, Bournemouth. So I'll give some credit to Norwich. Obviously, I think Norwich City will go this season. I just, I don't, I don't, I just can't see him staying. Mm. I just can't. Yeah, it's obviously got my United in next weekend. I wouldn't be surprised if they beat United, if I'm honest. But no. um, you yeah. never know what can happen. Anyway, moving on to Tottenham Watford, and this is VAR drama at. Oh my gosh, this was the Tottenham, game. what is going on? Watford scored first against Tottenham. Well, it was early. It was, Watford almost it was in won. the ninth minute, obviously. Um, it, it was a good finish. He went bottom left. Um, and everyone's thinking, well, I'm going to know what is going on here. Tottenham losing again here. Shit. And, and oh God. It, it, Sorry, language. It went, uh, it went through the whole game. Well, Watford led. 
basically the whole game basically. And Deli Ali came up with a a big goal. Um, obviously, Ben Foster I don't quite know what the keeper's doing. He comes out, he should be catching it, but he let mm. go as it bounce off Deli Ali and he hits it. In. But then the V R V E R drama here. Loads of it says out. it says no goal on the boards. People, f- like everyone thought it was ruled out. There has but been then a few lo- seconds yeah. later, it, it stood like no one knew what was going on. There has been loads and of VAR. And this is what needs to improve in VAR. It's not been at its best this weekend, if I'm honest. It's, no. It's done people dead ins, and it's like it has a lot of teams. It's, it's, like it happened with Wolves. It's happened. It's helped. It's helped some teams. Loads of teams. It hasn't helped some teams, and it's getting in the way of this football. League it's at the moment, but loads this weekend. Tottenham got away with a point, but I don't think Tottenham would be very happy with that point, especially no. Watford being bottom of the league. But for Watford, that's that's a good, that's a very good point. But there's still the thing is about Watford, they still haven't won. And they whoever, haven't. who are the facing next week? I do not know. I'll be able to check now. Hang on, who are the facing next week? They are facing Bournemouth at home. That is an interesting game. That could be. Mm. They've got Chelsea at home, Norwich away. Three games there. What is. Four, even Burnley. Four. Watford could they're, have their first win next week. If they, I, last that season, could happen. Last season, if I. If, but Watford, Bournemouth. Watford I would was, say Watford would win yeah, last, last season. season. Last season, Watford, Chelsea. Chelsea actually won the fixture, but I fancy Watford for that game. Norwich, Watford. Watford would have won last year. And they probably might win this year. Well, Norwich and win Watford, last Watford, Burnley, last year they would have won. And if I'm honest, I think the win is coming for Watford. Like Watford used Obviously, to be a great the, team. They drew against Sheffield United. I think they should have beaten Sheffield United. If I'm honest, what Watford? Yeah, they've got a good, good, good group of players, and it's. I hope Watford don't go down because they're a good team. They're, I I hope they don't, but I think they will. I just I don't know, but. But anyway, hopefully they do stay. I, 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 I sense a win coming for Watford, if I'm honest or not. Okay, so moving on to Leicester City versus Burnley FC. 2-1 Leicester City. Yeah, it was, um, this was VAR drama as well. Oh my gosh. And it was late as well as the Tottenham game. Obviously, um, Loads Bur- of Burnley, VAR. Burnley took the league Oh, did they? Um, through Chris Wood. It was a great header. Um, Michael couldn't quite keep it out. And then Jamie Vardy on the stroke of half time headed it in to make it 1 1. And if I'm honest with you, like, like, Leicester were unlucky not to get a point at Anfield just before the international break. I thought they played defensively yeah, pretty that was well. Last game, wasn't it? The, Liverpool. Liverpool deserved to win in the end, but they were unlucky still, Leicester. You felt sorry for them, they deserved a point out of it, but um, they, they couldn't quite get it in the end. But obviously. Leicester, we'll we'll say and if Liverpool if Leicester didn't play Liverpool that, uh, before an international break, Leicester would have won that game. Leicester, you feel like when whoever Leicester come up against, apart from maybe Liverpool and Man City at the moment, well, you you probably fancy Leicester against City, maybe against some big clubs. Leicester, you sense they can win every single game. Mm. We're good. Sat Leicester. I think they'll finish top four this season. I yeah, think, I think they will. The top four, I think, will be Chelsea. I, can't, I, I don't know, but I can't see Arsenal and Tottenham. I don't think Chelsea, Chelsea. I don't think Chelsea will get top. Three. Nah, I think they. I will. think they'll bottle it to fuck. I think season. they will. Chelsea, Leicester, we'll get Manchester there. City and Liverpool. I think we'll yeah. get top four this season because Arsenal, they're not doing great, and Tottenham are definitely not doing great. So, I think that'll be the top six. Yeah, I maybe. think I think Man United might be struggling for Europa League football. If I'm honest, at this rate. We'll get we'll get on to Man United in a bit. Actually. Yeah, in a bit. Yeah. So obviously, um, Tillemans obviously scored a min goal. Um, it was he, he smashed it into the net. He, it went off the bar. It looked very nice goal. It, mm. it looked nice when it went in. Um, that that won the game for Leicester. And obviously towards the end, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought it was Chris Wood who got the goal, but apparently it, it would have gone down as an own goal for Leicester. Johnny Evans it said Johnny Johnny Evans put it in his own net, but it was a foul. Chris Wood by mistake tripped him. He didn't do it on purpose. He just clipped his heels and he fell over and stopped Johnny Evans claiming the ball. If I'm honest, I don't think he would have got to the ball anyway. But you know what? I wanted Leicester to win that game. I hope Leicester win every game apart from the players. 
I like Leicester. They're doing well. I, I hope they do well. I like them. I don't know if they'll come second, but I think they'll come third this season. I, I, it's a good shout if I'm honest. I, I, I think they will. Like, you know. They're not going to finish second, are they? No. Because Man City and Liverpool probably will run away with it. Liverpool Man City will be always in the top two. I, come out always. with the season. I think Leicester will be round about the top four Obviously, area. before this week's Premier League, Manchester City were in fourth place. Leicester in second, Chelsea in third. And Manchester yeah. City in fourth. But Manchester City... Beat Crystal Palace. Yeah, what we'll move on to now, actually. Yeah. Obviously, we finished Crystal Palace nil, Man City 2. I was disappointed with Crystal Palace. It didn't really threat Man City right, you, enough. You've, you thought Crystal Palace would win. Like, no. Well, I, I, I was confident that like, Palace would like... Obviously, Crystal Palace is a great team. They've they been have been doing good they, 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 they have been doing really, really good. They're good on the road. They're, they're good away from home. Like, they, they prefer that away from like, home. A few like, weeks on ago. the counter and that with Saha, uh, Townsend... Them, them sort of players, they're fan, they're, they love playing away from home and Chris Price love obviously the shot that gets West Ham. A few months ago, beating Manchester that United. That Man City, they, they beat obviously Man United um, uh, yeah, at Old Trafford. They beat Man City last Man City last season at home at the Etihad. They, they do, and they gave Liverpool the game at Anfield when they got beat 4-3. They give every single team away yeah. from home a good game. So when sides are at home against Chris Price, they always give a good game. And you know what? When when they come up against a big six, uh, uh, when they go away from home, they always give them a game. And you know what? It's 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 never a, a nice team to play at all, if no. I'm honest. Even when you've got that twelve man supporters like cheering you on, it's it's still hard because Palace prefer playing on the counter away from home. When it comes to home, they've got great support, Crystal Palace, but. Obviously, they still, it's a hard place to go. Have, part, they don't have a great stadium though. It's a bit mm. scruffy. It's scruffy, yeah. Obviously, the Man City were quite unbelievable on the well, especially in the first half. Obviously, Jesus gave him the lead uh, with a header, and obviously a few seconds later, uh, David Silva scored. But it was a brilliant work to go. Raheem Sterling lobs it over the defender, and David Silva volleys it through the legs of Wayne Hennessy. And if I'm honest with you, that was a great goal for Man City. And really, there wasn't much happened out. Uh, Man City could have scored about five or six, seven even in next game. De Bruyne hit the post. Uh, Hennessy come pulls off some decent saves, but apart uh, and obviously Ben Teke when he came on, I, I think they should have brought Ben Teke on a bit earlier. I think obviously as soon as he came on, he won a header and pulled Hennessy into his first save of the game onto the right. It was an unbelievable save, like. Mm. And then they forced him into they forced him into another one. I think they did. I can't remember. I think I think they did, right? but it wasn't enough threat from Palace. I think it needed to play a bit better. And, you know, I think it was... Man City played well, and I think they deserved to win in the end. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, moving on. So, that's the Saturday well, game. We'll go so on, to, on we'll to, to Monday game now, so... Wait, Monday? Yeah, we'll, man, well, we'll get on to the Liverpool game last one. Sheffield United, Arsenal. It finished Sheffield United 1, Arsenal 0. That's... I'm Arsenal. actually not shocked. I'm not actually shocked about that. Before, nah, I'm I'm I predicted 2-1 Sheffield United. I called that. I, I knew Sheffield United would be... No, but you didn't I, get the prediction right, I though. didn't get it right, but I I, I got I, I kind of got it right with Sheffield United winning, and, and I thought... I, I did think they would. I, I think Arsenal, away from home, are dreadful. And I said that in the predictions, yeah. if you watched it. They're not very good away from home. And Sheffield United is a hard place to go. They're a hard team to break down, home and away. Well, especially at home, they're a hard team to break down. And, obviously, the stats on Sky Sports showed Definitely. it last night. Obviously, Sheffield, Liverpool, Sheffield United team. have conceded... The, the less goals in the Premier League than I Liverpool. did say Arsenal apart from Liverpool I, Liverpool and Sheffield United have seven that's the best in, conceded in the Premier League I said, and that is quite decent I said for a newly Ars promoted side I said Arsenal would win but I kind of knew Sheffield were, is going to win no you didn't I did though nah I saw I, I was seeing it coming like on that Sunday morning or Sunday night when it started I was thinking oh I bet Sheffield's going to win this and they did. Yeah. Well, I fancy. I always fancy Sheffield United at home. They're a side who will give every single. They're team not a bad game. team. They're not a bad team. They're a very good team. Like you said, you said they're gonna get relegated. Yeah, I, I put them in twenty. They're not getting it, relegated. Did I put them in like nineteen? No, you put them in twentieth. Oh, right, put okay. them in last. They're proving me wrong at the moment. Yeah, yeah. very said, wrong. I said, very wrong. I said fourteen. So, 
Yeah, but then, but for a newly promoted side, like Sheffield United, right. they, don't, they don't look like a very good side who like, would do one. They've the definitely been the best newly promoted side. Oh, yeah, side. by a long way. They gave, they gave Liverpool a game. They gave Arsenal a game. The two big sides there, top six sides, they've given them a game, won one, maybe lost one. Or is, they've definitely been doing better. But when, whenever they've lost, they've only lost by that one goal, I think. They've definitely been doing the best yeah. out of Aston and, Villa and Norwich. And they've, and, and, and they've been to the Chelsea, drew 2-2. Two, two. They were 2 yes. down and they came back. They've got some... And, you know, I've been impressed with Sheffield United. They were hard team to break down. They will... I think they'll, they could be a top 10 side. Could be. I think they might go into the top ten really. Uh, maybe about tenth, maybe. I think they're a very good team, and I think defensively they're good. Going forward, then they're a bit can be wasteless. Obviously, they they got the goal, but they held on to. It was a set piece. Obviously, Arsenal were actually crap at defending set pieces. Uh, at, so yeah, it's it's one of those. It's uh, but in the end, Sheffield beating Arsenal one 0 So moving on to the main, I'll say the main. Uh, it wasn't. Match. It wasn't. Well, it wasn't the best. And game I am me. really, really disappointed in this game. Manchester United versus Liverpool. It was not great. It wasn't great. Yes, and this had VAR all over it. It was. <laughs> it was <laughs> more v- VAR once again. It was, it was, this weekend's been absolute drama. It's been VAR. shocking. I even said the predictions. I said in the prediction, "Oh, it's a good week for football." But in the end, I, I, it hasn't been a great. Well, it's been not great been bad. Game. It's just, I think I think Liverpool United. I think United. No. The atmosphere must have been pretty decent because the Liverpool uh, Andy Robertson is best left back. Oh, the old travellers. He was kicking it out. He couldn't get the ball under control. Some of the players. I think the pressure did get. To old him. Trafford is the biggest uh, Premier League stadium in the Premier. Obviously, League. Obviously, man, you could tell man that up for it. You, you could tell that they wanted to beat us. They, they wanted to stop Liverpool winning the Premier League. That. They want to stop. Obviously, the last week, they, like, uh, or was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago, they lost to Newcastle. Exactly, and um, th- 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 this this now what, drawing it, to Liverpool. This is what hurts. Like we are so much better than Man United. The, 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 the teams like Liverpool, not Man United, not one Man United player could get into Liverpool starting eleven, in my opinion, and in a lot of people's opinions. Obviously, the Man United fans will probably say, "Oh, well, man, Maguire will get in there, De Gea will get in there, Rashford will get in there." Would they bollocks? Maybe Maguire, maybe to hear now and again if when they're in form, they might. Well, could they get in? A, well, could they get over Allison? Probably not. Magu- I think Maguire could probably get into the side level when he's in form, but he's not played very well recently, if I'm honest. Mm. But if I'm honest, give some credit, man. Like they made it hard for Liverpool. They played not bad, but I think the. Uh, it's probably the best Man United. I think they played the best so far. Yeah, I th- in I the think, Premier League. I think so Liverpool far. were very lucky. To, well, but it didn't help because Obviously, the referee United decision, first. the referee referee decisions didn't go exactly. Yeah, Liverpool had a goal disallowed. So say the AR. Obviously, Ugh. Rashford gave them the league on the first six minute mark. <laughs> Obviously, Origi was fouled. It should have been a foul, and Man United go to the field and score. Everyone's been say, saying to me that it wasn't a foul. I'm sorry, but you know, obviously they're all my United fans. There's been a few Liverpool fans who have said to me, yeah, it, I don't think it was a foul. But in my opinion, I think it was a foul. But you just have to get over it. Take over shit. If, if I'm honest with you, at like nine after nine games, and you said to me at the start of the season, you'd draw one and, well, sorry, you'd win eight and draw one. I would have took it. And you know what? I'm going to take it because... We are still, we're still six fair. points clear, and but in my opinion, in my opinion, I think we still. But then again, people have been saying Liverpool to me, still haven't lost though. P- people have been saying to me, "Oh, you, know, you lost to Man United." Well, wait a minute, we didn't lose. Well, we didn't. We didn't lose. It's we a drop. drew. P- people think. People think. Well, this is a bad result for Liverpool. So it's. No, it's, it's not great. It, well, it's not a great result. It's a bad result in a way for Liverpool. Like, it, it. It kind of feels like we've lost in a way. It does because that's their fir- That's. The, like, yeah. Would you say the first and, and lose? Th- this is this is what happened last draw. season. So many draws for Liverpool last season cost them, and we've already got one on the board at the well so far. So we need to keep winning, and that, that, that's why I think Jurgen Klopp and Liverpool, well, us fans are disappointed because we just want to keep keep winning, keep winning, and wh- whenever we dro- hopefully we drop points later on in the season. But it's and obviously, the obviously we're facing Tottenham next week, so it's, that's that's yeah. another match looking yeah. forward to. It should be, but obviously, get it should be a Liverpool smash. Obviously, I think it was a foul. 
And I'm sure the Man United fans think he wasn't. Of course they're going to think that. Of course they're going to think that. It was absolute. But yeah, the, and, and, anyway. then, and then they went up the field and scored. So yeah, and obviously a few about um, how long ago was it? Um, on the 44th minute, Sadio Mane gets an equaliser, but it was VAR ruled it out. Again. Absolute mugs. VAR. Abs absolute mugs. It was a clear, well, it was a handball, if I'm honest. It, it was the right decision in the end. Um, but last season, that was a goal that would have stood. And fair enough, VAR yeah, picked that up. And credit Man United, they, they, they were able to hold us out until the... It, obviously, we'll listen to the pundits at half time. How will Man United be able to have the courage to keep us out? Nope. Will, 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 will they have the like last the last ten minutes? Well, last last ten yeah, but on the eighty fifth minute, it's like Man United gasped out after we scored that the equaliser. So hang on. Obviously, Adam Nana got the equaliser on the eighty fifth minute. Andy Robertson puts it in. It wasn't the best of balls in the world, but. It was good enough to get it to Liana and to mm. that post sneaked it in through the net. And I didn't go mental because I was thinking, well, VAR will probably come up with an excuse to disallow it. But when the goal was clear, I went mental. And then from then, it was all Liverpool. I felt like, I felt like Liverpool were going to nick it. But in the end. end, it was a draw. Sadly. It, was a, it was a draw, sadly. sadly. And, and Liverpool fans, I don't think, will be happy. Uh, well, I'm not happy yeah. because... It's never, I, it's, the thing is, though... Everyone knew it was going to be a hard place. It's going to be a, this was going to yeah, be a hard game. Definitely everyone at knew Old it was going Trafford. to be. We, everyone know. Well, I expected to win scrappy. I thought we'd score two in the second half. No, but you know well, what? Well, Liverpool just got the goal right at the end. Yeah, it's. Boxer Chamberlain came on. It improved. It, he he changed the game. He played very well. Cater when he came on, he, he did his part. Obviously, Leanne who got the goal. Young Cup's three substitutions were very good. I thought they, they were very good, and I think. Compared to last year at Old Trafford when it was nil nil, I don't think the substitutions were positive enough to go out and win the game. This 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 year this year I think it, they were positive, it just weren't quite enough to win the game. I think but they were positive enough to get a point and get the goal what we all need. Uh, but a point is better than losing. Yeah, and that's what Liverpool got. They got one point. So yeah, but anyway, let's just do the Premier League table. Well, I, well what we were thinking about the races then. I'll right, we'll do that after the Premier League table. So we'll do oh, the Premier okay. League table first. All oh, right, okay. Right. Um, let, we'll talk about that after. Yeah, I need to get this guy. See, actually, um, Watford probably will remain, but yeah, they will remain bottom. Um, obviously, after the draw. But that's a shame. I don't want Watford. It's encouraging. I like Watford. It's encouraging signs for Watford. I do, do you like Watford? I like Watford. I don't mind them. I don't mind them. No, well, they're not my greatest. They're, they're not the most likable. But okay, you go first and I'll go. So. I was hitting 20th position. <laughs> and I was talking about four. Tw 20th position, Watford. What? 19th. Four points oh, yeah, and minus, n minus 16 goal difference. Uh, 19th, Norwich City. Uh, with seven yeah, points yeah. and eleven goal difference, eighteenth uh, Newcastle United eight points and minus nine goal difference. Seventeenth uh, Southampton eight goal uh, eight points minus seven goal difference. Sixteenth uh, oh no it's it you it's you no it's you oh yeah, yeah. it's sixteen Brighton uh, points and nine and minus three goal difference. Fifteenth Everton five po uh, ten points and minus five goal difference. Manchester United in 14th place. <laughs> the weird thing is, if we beat them, <laughs> and if we beat them... Screw you, United. Ever, Man United would have been on level points with Brighton. Oh, well, that would have been it. Uh, uh, oh. And, hang on. If we beat Man United from some distance, Brighton would have been ahead of Man United. Uh, anyway, 13th, 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 13th Wolves, 11 uh, points and 0 goal difference. 12th position, Aston Villa, 11 points and 2 goal difference. Not 11th, West Ham United. With 12 points and minus 2 goal difference. 10th place, Bournemouth, 12 points and 0 goal difference. In 9th, Sheffield United. With 12 points and... One goal difference, not bad for Sheffield United, newly promoted side. In eighth position, Burnley, 12 points and one goal difference. In seventh, Tottenham Hotspur. 12 points and two two goal difference, not very good for Tottenham though. No. In sixth place, Crystal Palace, wow. 14 points and minus two goal difference. Good for Crystal Palace. Fifth, Arsenal. 15 points and minus one, uh, one goal difference, sorry. That's not 
great either for Arsenal, if I'm honest. Fourth place, Chelsea. It was 17 points and five goal difference. Not yeah, bad. Third, Leicester City. 17 points and a goal difference. Very good start for Leicester City. Go, great first nine games for them. In second place, Manchester City with 19 points and my, uh, 20 minus. I wish it was minus 20 goal difference, but it's 20 goal difference. And in first place, obviously, Le- Liverpool, Liverpool. Liverpool. Obviously, ahead with City at six points. 25 points and right 14 goal difference. Liverpool are all right right now, but yeah. Okay, For so now. let's move on to what happened a week ago. Yeah, sorry, it's very late. Obviously, the yeah. Bulgaria-England game. Bulgaria versus England. Obviously, England won, was it 6-0? Six six I can't Smash quite remember. It was, that, it was such a crap game, I can't remember. Um, yeah, it was obviously a lot of racism and that. Uh, sure. Pointed at Tyrone Mings and Raheem Sterling. Monkey chance. Rashford and people like Monkey that. Monkey chance. And, Monkey you know, chance. it's... Racism. It we, was... It, it didn't... It's disgusting, really. You, you can't... The thing is, though, how can you stop racism? You can't. Nah, we... Nah. Like, it's how is... Why is this still happening in the 21st century in football? What is going on? There's just people, there's hooligans out there. Hooligans. Disrespectful people. people. Black masks and crap. Uh, it's it's disappointing. We well, watched this YouTuber, right, and he was like talking about like racism and crap, and they had Nazi signs outside the ground. Football outside grounds. the ground, they had um, they had the they had this sign with a black man and a white woman with a cross over it. If you don't know what that means, that means like black ma- men shouldn't be dating. White woman. That guy on the bus going out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's just very stupid. very yeah, it's stupid. It's not it's not very it's not good for Bulgaria and it's for the country. It's it's put them in it, it, well, danger. It, well, yeah. Bulgaria should be banned from football for life. For life. Like you can't just like you can give them a ban for like. No, no, no. Ah, wait, wait, wait. You can give them you can give them a fine. You give the like the country or the club whatever you want to call it a fine. You can give them like. A six match ban. This isn't gonna stop and people the ma- doing it. And the manager of What's Bulgaria, he didn't care. Yeah, well, I'm not no. gonna, I'm he, not yeah, he didn't care. But he says he didn't hear him when he clearly did. Well, he obviously did. And um, obviously, it was um, it was it was and obviously terrible. terrible. It's obviously well. I forgot what I was gonna say now. It. It's just stupid. It is, and you know it's 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 disappointing. And obviously, after the match, uh, there's there was a forest around the stadium, wasn't there? And pe- the people from Bul- Bulgaria, the, the hooligans, ultras, the, ultras, the hooligans, the ultras, were trying to find the England fans. Well, they were waiting. Let's say they were waiting. They were waiting for, for the England fans. England fans were waiting for forty minutes in yeah, the ground. In what the ground, ridiculous to wait after a match. You just want to get into a. That's like drink, a first half. Celebrating that's, the win. Um, get back to your hotel. Go for the sleep. Maybe some people had flights but to no, catch. They didn't have to do that because what they had to do was run away to the, to a hotel. Obviously, the hotel. Obviously, it was obviously the police. Didn't well. Some said they did a good job. Some said they did a bad job. Obviously, they guided them through the forest and that into the town centre. But the ultras were not stupid. They were waiting for them in this town centre or the city, whatever People you want to call were it. Chased and uh, apparently, chased so, apparently, someone went missing. Apparently, S- someone, someone died. died. Someone died. Yeah. And what is ridiculous? I just, uh, yeah. just can't stand it, that. It's. Ridiculous. I know, these ultras have already been banned from a football match and somehow they got in. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know how they got in. If we ever Apparently went security there. Uh, with yellow um, vests on, they actually took them off and started doing the te- um, oh, yeah, racism as well. That. And that is stupid. It's Bulgaria. It, it's, 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 it's put a bad bad, th- bad thing on Bulgaria. What is obviously, going on, Bulgaria? The country looks bad now, obviously. In... I bet nobody likes Bulgaria. None, no one. I, 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 bet I, advi- right now, I advise you not to go there. Right? No one in England, no one in England will don't, don't probably even even like if Bulgaria even your club even if your club gets into a European game in Bulgaria, do not do go. Not go do not go because this this crap could happen again in Bulgaria and do not go. It, it, just saying, it's 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 just horrible. I think really, it's it, do, I I don't know how you can't stop it though. Like. 
You, anyone could walk into a football. I could walk into a football match. They're not going to know. I could go and shout racist things. They can't. They don't know that. Well, anything can happen. It's just stupid people, hooligans, um, abs- and there were Nazi salutes as well. How yeah, could we forget that? That Hitler Nazi stuff and all that. They, yeah. they had to jump with no respect for the. But you have got to get the. They're gonna have to do something, and I don't know. It's it's disgusting and. It needs to stop, really. It's it's not good enough. But uh, obviously, you, you, we had this last year in English, but it's not just it's not just in Bulgaria. It's everywhere in the world. The it, was in, it was in England last year. Obviously, it, around it was January or no, just before Christmas time. Obviously, we beat Czech Republic. Wait, 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 one second. What wasn't bad? No, there was no obviously racist. Well, oh no, we got beat. Yeah, we got. Yeah, beat. we got beat. But yeah, I don't. I didn't hear any racist stuff no, there. No, Bulgaria. Obviously, the Bulgaria. No. It, it got stopped twice, and. Um, it's not just happening Excuse in Bulgaria. It's happening everywhere around the world. It happened in England last year between just before Christmas. It was uh, at Stafford Bridge, Chelsea versus Man City. Obviously, that was at Raheem Stern as well. He's had a lot of racist abuse yeah. over the last year or so. Last I few do years not. Even. I do not like Sterling, but I, I'm not a fan of Sterling. But I won't go. I won't start I wouldn't shouting. I will just shout his like monkey. Yeah, shit. I, I, don't, I don't like. I don't really like Sterling. I'm not a fan of him, but I wouldn't start shouting racist stuff at him. If you're gonna shout racist stuff at him, do it at home. Where no one's gonna hear it, it's still not okay to do it at home. But just re- don't, don't, don't do it in do public. This to black people. You shouldn't do it at all, if I'm honest. And don't get me wrong, people do say stuff at home now and again. But what? Obviously, you you're entitled to what you think at home. But when you're in the stadium and in public, you can't say them things. And it's just don't, don't do this to black people. Just don't. It's, like, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's racist. It didn't. It's not. As I say, it's not just happening in Bulgaria. It's happening. It's everywhere. happening all over Obviously, the world. England. Oh, I've tried. I forgot. So the Man City Chelsea game, but before because obviously Chelsea won two 0 Obviously, two Chelsea fans got arrested for shouting racist abuse at Sterling. Um, there's been a lot of, in the Premier League. There's been quite a few incidents. And yet, in the Czech Republic match, few England fans got arrested. Uh, yeah, I don't know after what, the Czech oh. Republic I don't know what I don't. I, I doubt it's for racism though. no it wasn't for racism um, England are not like that Bulgaria England. Bulgaria being heard to be shouting racist stuff at, I, I wouldn't um, say England are like po- that uh, Czech Republic when they went to Bulgaria a few months ago it's 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 been it's not this isn't the first time Bulgaria have experienced this uh, well another team's experienced this at Bulgaria it's disgusting I know you and it needs to be stopped the but hooligans got took there's, out there's no way you can stop it though like how, you can't stop racism anyone could go into a football stadium and shout it Even like a good person could go in and shout it you just don't know you, you can't tell who's good you, like when like a, like a security guy you see someone walking in how you, and you look at him you go he, he looks like a good guy and he, he could st- and there was this other sign uh, in Bulgaria where it said "Defend racism." Oh Defend yes, I, I saw that one. Yes, that is nah. disgusting. Oh but my there's, though, gosh. there's Bulgaria fans who were involved in this and Defend disgusted racism. about this. You feel sorry for the people what? who aren't involved, but it's they're they're saying, "Oh well, it was just a majority oh, of people, two hundred people." It's ridiculous. And, I'm telling you now. And and, and they said not and, and, and a lot of Bulgaria people apologised and that, but it's I'm I'm sorry to say this, but the stickers on the gate outside that, the stadium, it's not been tucked down. Why aren't they being tucked down? Yeah, exactly. But why are the Obviously police... there is some nice people in Bulgaria. Oh yeah, they're not all bad, obviously. No. It's just like there's some bad in England, there's also nice in England, you know. It's the same with everywhere. It's the like, same with everywhere. There's some bad good people ones in America. Bad people. Yeah, it's good people in America. You know that, yeah. But obviously, we've heard that the chairman of the Bulgaria Football Association has resigned because of the racism, and the manager resigned for the racism as well. So they are looking for a new manager at the moment, and Good. a new and a new chairman. Um, Actually, no, they should they should not have a manager. They shouldn't have a football sh- team. Yeah, honest. exactly. Obviously, I can't. I don't think they'll be in the. I I can't actually be in the Euros. I don't think they are in the Euros. They think. better not be. They shouldn't be in football. Um, just, oh. well, you can ban them for about it, six games, but they'll just so continue annoying. after the after those six games. They'll just continue saying it. So I'm sorry, but this isn't stopping. Banned it. Ban Bulgaria. So yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. That'll probably do. 
Yeah. Anyway, um, guys, yeah, that's Premier League review week nine. It's been a longer one as usual. Yeah. But it's been quite fun talking about things this evening. Obviously, a lot of uh, VR. Yeah, VAR. Um, Not virtual reality. <laughs> and um, obviously, the racism is disgusting, obviously. We'll be yeah. back. We'll be back. Maybe tomorrow we might be doing home kits. We're, we're away, aren't we, next week? When So what? it might be a Tuesday, like, again. No, because it, it's it, on it might be a Monday. No, I can't see it because we're away, aren't we? In Donny. Oh, yeah, we're at Donny. So Donny if, if, we? if we, might be, we might have to do it Tuesday, the uh, review. But we'll do predictions obviously, on Friday. Obviously, coming up, uh, maybe tomorrow, home kits. Um, yeah, we'll, we said we were going to do it tomorrow, but we didn't have time. Yeah. Because we're busy. Uh, maybe more... Um, uh, what you call them? Challenges coming. Oh yeah, challenges. Um, anyway, and yeah, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, subscribe. And bye. Peace. Peace.